living a committed life really means realizing that the important things are people and relationships and experiences and the way that they all kind of tie together. I met Kara in the Dominican Republic in 2006. We were at a track meet together. People ask us how we manage to train together all the time, but it's just something we've kind of always done. It's always been part of the conversation that how was practice today and how did you throw? And now that we get to actually be there physically together and we have such a good understanding of how to communicate with each other, it's super positive. It's really fun. Kara's a, she's a fierce competitor. She's a two-time Olympian, uh, American record holder in 2010. Like, I fangirl a little bit over Russ. Like, he just squatted 300 kilos a couple weeks ago, and like, he's super strong. I love like being like, yeah, that's mine. Like, I get to go home with that guy. Because <laughs> he's just, it's really fun to watch. On my fourth throw of Olympic trials in 2012, I tore my ACL. After that, I didn't really know who I was for a while. And that kind of granted me the opportunity to work on other things in my life. And that was my favorite thing about having Russ there during the whole recovery process, because it wasn't about javelin for a long time. It was about going on hikes before surgery in Colorado. Those experiences out in the outdoors, they really help you to gain some perspective on what your life is about. We didn't get any outdoor time because we were doing school, training, competing, and wedding preparation. And I think the big payoff for us was the wedding. We got married in fall 2014. We're in Telluride. We see these mountains and we see this fresh snow on wedding day and like the leaves are amazing. And it was just like, oh yeah, like this is why we put all this work in. I didn't see myself needing that until I met Russ. And then it's just like something that brings us so much closer together. It kind of does always come back to the track, even though that doesn't feel like the most important thing in our lives, especially now that we've built a lot more together. We like to train together, so we'll, sometimes one of us will start before the other and take video and um, those kind of things. We have world championships this year and then the Olympics are next year, so we're both focused on making both of those teams. Those of us that spend enough time around Kara know that she's just so dedicated that she's going to make it happen. So now people are starting to realize, like, okay, she's back. I tend to believe that I'm a much happier person when I have access to the other things in life. I'm so happy to be committed to what we're building together and to move forward together.